Hi guys, so this week's cover is Ziggy Stardust by David Bowie. It's been a long time coming for this song. I've covered two David Bowie songs in the past and I've loved him as an artist since I was about 15 years old. Really got into him, used to do this as if it was just a normal thing. Slightly smaller though, I used to do it. But yeah, I've got into it and done a makeup tutorial for this look. I've used quite easy things and it's the most basic way so it's not perfect, like super awesome makeup artist style. But yeah, I hope you like it and please check out my cover of the song Ziggy Stardust. So, just start with a clean base of just whatever foundation and concealer you'd normally use and then I'm going to contour my nose, cheekbones, temples and jawline because he has a really defined face, especially in this album cover. Defining the cheekbones and temple is going to be made more prominent afterwards when you add the blusher. But yeah, this just helps with the shadowing and everything. So this is the blusher I'm using by Soap and Glory. It's, I'm not even sure how to describe the colour. It's just like a natural, oh, I'm just hitting the microphone. It's just like a natural reddy, pinky, and he has a lot on his cheekbones, a lot on the temples, and I've put a little bit just on my jawline as well, but not too much. And then I'm using that same color on my eyes. So you wanna go in at the crease and bring it all the way in, just making a bit of a shadow effect, but like there is quite a lot on there. And going underneath the eye as well, and then bringing it all the way in and going down that nose contour. Then I'm just adding a couple of coats of mascara putting a little bit of highlighter on my nose and just on my cheekbones. I don't know whether he wore any kind of highlighter, but I just think it suits the look. I think the point in me pulling these faces was to show the cheekbones or something. Anyway, um, and then I am wearing my favorite nude lip stick. I don't know why that was hard for me to say. It's Cinnamon Beige by Soap and Glory again. He looks like he's just wearing a nude colour. It looks like it might be metallic or maybe that's just the way the photo was taken, but anyway. Then, for the part that's actually important, I'm just using this lush, like, clay makeup. I don't even know what it's called, but you can mix the colours and you can get, like, use it on your lips, get some interesting stuff out of there. And I'm not sure what kind of brush I'm using, it's just kind of a flat one. And yeah, I've played this part in full just so you can see how I'm doing it, but basically, as you can see, I just keep looking towards the picture. I've tried to brush it back into my hairline a little bit so you can't really tell where it ends. Just kept colouring it in and he doesn't have eyebrows, I don't think, in this um, like makeup look or... I don't know whether that was like a thing, but I just didn't do anything to my eyebrows. Um, you could probably look up a tutorial on how to like cover your eyebrows with makeup if you wanted to go like really into the, a kind of like exact replica of the Ziggy Stardust look. But yeah, I was just, uh, yeah, I feel like this worked for me. So I'm just trying to follow the red lines as well as possible. Um, it can be a bit tricky, so just take your time, do it thinner at first and then obviously you can add more but it's more difficult to take it away so I'll just keep going over it colouring it in um, this red I think works really well by the way and then I'm using my Urban Decay palette because this is the only blue I had but it actually works really well so it's a bit of like a sparkly blue which I think matches pretty well and I'm just using an angled brush that I think I'd normally use for like my eyebrows or something and I'm just drawing it in as close to the red as possible but it doesn't matter if there's a gap because you're going to go over that with the black. So when you've got the blue looking as opaque and magical as you can I'm going to go in here with my just my everyday NYX black eyeliner. It helps if you have a steady hand because I did some areas obviously a little bit wonky. You can't tell from far away so it was fine with me. Then you can just try and neaten the edges of the red with like a red lip liner or whatever you want to use. Red lipstick would work fine with this. You could even use red eyeliner, blue eyeliner, whatever you've got lying around that would work. So this is my finished Ziggy Stardust look. Um, it's not perfect, but I really like it. I feel super cool when I'm wearing it. The awesome thing about 
the David Bowie makeup styles is that it's so kind of artistic and unique and creative so you can kind of go along with it whichever way you want. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to come back on Wednesday to check out my Ziggy Stardust cover. If you like what I do in this channel, check out the links in the description and I'll see you again soon. Like a cat from Japan, he can lick 'em by smiling.